We are here today about to do a chemical peel on the beautiful Lisa, who has been one of our employees for almost 10 years. Alondra right now is getting her all cleaned off, and that is the first step of the chemical peel. We are going to use trichloric acid today, which will help with the overall texture of Lisa's skin and the coloring. So things that we use TCA peels for are fine lines or um, acne scarring, uneven texture of the skin. Um, we use it quite a bit for brown spots or sunspots and for melasma or sun damaged areas of skin. Um, so right now, the first step is just getting her really cleaned off really good because we want a nice, even peel. And then you are going to see Alondra placing Vaseline on spots where we don't want the acid to go. Um, for a trichloric acid peel, we usually ask our patients to stop their products a week before the peel. The week after the peel, you can be peely, as you can imagine, so kind of dry, flaky, a little red, um, and you don't need to use products during that week until your skin has healed from the chemical peel. So she's nice and cleaned off now. Lisa has had a peel before. She also uses Total Defense and Repair sunscreen every morning. That is a, not just a regular sunscreen, it's a super screen that protects against UVA, UVB, and infrared rays. So that helps with her brown spots or in preventing fine lines and wrinkles. Um, she also uses retinol at night. And so retinol helps passively exfoliate and take off that top layer of damaged skin cells. So when we tell people to come in and, and get a peel, you know, that's kind of like we are being your... Um, your trainer. So you come in, you see your trainer every so often, but you need to go home and still do your exercises every day. So even though we're sprucing her up with a peel, we want her to every day be using her sunscreen every morning, her retinol every night. She's laughing at me. Okay, so Honey is going to step in now. Honey has the trichloric acid here. As Honey is applying the chemical, Lisa, we expect you to feel some burning sensation, a little minor pain. You guys may notice that she gets a little bit red or even um, frosty. You can see sometimes see a little bit of frost kind of white coloring on the skin and that's good. That's what we want. You may see honey go over certain areas more than once that she wants to work a little bit harder on and you'll see her reapplying. Um, after we have applied the acid, and Honey's doing a great job there, you can see Lisa's starting to get a little bit red there, and so, she, you know, the um, acid is doing its job right now. Um, you will see Alondra coming in with cool compresses, and so that feels really good so that this really isn't a painful procedure. It's quick, it's an easy procedure. Um, we're doing a really light series of peels on Lisa, so instead of doing one really hard peel where she looks really bad for a week, we're just doing a series of light peels on her where she's not going to have a, little, a lot of downtime, but over multiple peels, she'll get the same results. Um, for the month of August, most of you know that we are running a lot of gifts with purchases and a lot of specials and presents for you guys celebrating our 10-year anniversary. And one of those is if you come in and get a TCA peel on your arms, then in the next month, we will schedule you for a free ATV treatment. And the ATV is one of the lasers that we use. And we use it, some of you have probably seen us use it on tattoos, but what we're pairing it with the chemical peel is for brown spots. So after you get that overall evening of the texture and the tone of your skin with the chemical peel, We'll have you come back in a month and we'll hit those brown spots that are left there with the laser. And so it's a really great combination for you guys to try. And so as you can see now, the peel is done. It's a quick procedure. Um, not a lot of pain, right, Lisa? How are you feeling? Good. Good, good. So we're going to have her lathered up in sunscreen. We're going to ask her to avoid sun exposure and to keep her skin super, super moisturized over the next week. And that's pretty much it. 
If you guys have any questions about chemical peels, remember that this month, Danny and Bridget, our cosmetic coordinators, are doing free cosmetic consults. So if you wanna come in and see if you are a good candidate for a chemical peel or talk about some of the topical treatments that we talked about today, um, I would highly recommend that you contact Danny at johnsondermatology.com is her email and that's D-A-N-I. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching us do the chemical peel. If you have any questions or if there's anything else you guys would like to see on our Facebook Live videos, please let us know because we are celebrating still for the rest of the month in August. So I hope you guys have a great day. Take care.